today's the day I'm leaving. It's currently almost 3 a.m. I woke up at 2 a.m. this morning and we have a two hour drive before getting to the airport. And then our flight leaves at 8 a.m. So we're just really prepared and early. We actually gotta get going really soon. So stay tuned and I'll see you at the airport. So have you ever wondered what is inside that TSA like scanning machine? Well, I thought the same thing. So I put my camera on and recorded what happened. And it's literally just a black like void. That's all it is. I arrived at the airport around 6 a.m. and then went on the flight at 8 a.m. and landed at 12.29. We were arriving in Toronto. Okay, I have to give props to the airline Air France. It is literally the best. Look at this. This is a camera that they attach to the back tail of the airplane. So wherever you're sitting on the airplane, you can just turn on your screen and watch the takeoff or the landing. How cool is that? Their whole thing is they pride themselves on being elegant. This is elegance. Like no other airline I've seen does this. It is the coolest thing ever. So props to Air France. I highly recommend. After literally the longest 10 hours of my life, we finally arrived in France. And as you can see, a lot of turbulence when landing. But again, the camera is so cool. We waited here literally till 6 p.m. After another 12 hour flight, we have finally arrived in Mauritius. Good morning, everybody. Today is the 15th of May and we landed here yesterday morning. I just can't believe we're actually in Mauritius. It's been like a dream because it's crazy to see like what the tourist side of Mauritius is like and then where I'm actually because it's a lot less glamorous if you're actually living in Mauritius. A lot more glamorous if you're a tourist, so. Allow me to introduce y'all to La Foire, or Bazaar, basically meaning marketplace. Mauritius is very much, I've noticed, a local-based economy. Like, everywhere, people prefer to go to La Foire instead of, like, grocery stores. Like, there are still are grocery stores. Usually, things are cheaper in the La Foire as well. While you enjoy some beautiful scenery, I can tell you guys about this funny story. So when I went to KFC, like I think it was the first day I was there in Mauritius, they gave me the choice of having either cheese or pineapple on my zinger. I guess they just really like pineapple there. Buses are the number one transportation method in Mauritius. We had to go on one, and it's very different from the Western bus system, but you gotta try it to find out what I mean. Welcome to Poiwi, or Port Louis, the capital city of Mauritius. One thing to know about Mauritius is it's an island, so there's no real train transportation of goods. Everything comes from this harbor. Everything comes from boats, basically, cargo ships. So this Goodall waterfront is a tourist attraction because of all the cool cargo ships you can see. Another cool part about Godon Waterfront is the Oceanarium or Aquarium, Odysseo. It opened back in September of 2021, so it's relatively new and literally all the tropical fish are here. I've never seen more tropical fish in my life. I'm not going to pretend like I'm some fish expert, but I do love animals. So if you go to Mauritius, you got to visit this place.
check out this gorgeous view. Check out this eel. This is my whole favorite part about the aquarium is this ginormous tank. I don't know how big it is, but as you can see, it contains a lot of fish and a lot of sharks. And there's also like this giant lobster looking thing. I have no idea what it's called, but just take it in for a second. currently heading to the Boiwi Marketplace and as you can see everything is sold here and now we're heading home on the newly created metro system um, and by the way rupees is the currency here in Mauritius and it's a Mauritian rupee is different from a Indian rupee tomorrow I think I'm gonna let you guys meet a very special friend of mine okay peace this is Bobby our family dog he's supposed to be like our protector in case the thieves come in but he's just a silly guy and um he just likes to run and play and eat foods you must try in mauritius first is this macaroon strawberry raspberry milkshake from haagen -Dazs. i know it's like a brand it's actually from the u.s so it's not really for mauritius but all right now for real mauritian taste 204 rupees you can get yourself from taste of asia bouillon boulette it's basically like um meatballs but like in then we have Alu da Pile, 100 rupees, 2-ish dollars, Canadian dollars, 10 out of 10, you must try it. And I always love trying fast food chains in other countries because it's always better. If you're in the Maibu La Foi, you have to buy this ice cream. It's homemade, 9 out of 10. That was the sound of shaved ice, or as I like to call it, glaçon rapé. There's way more foods that I tried in Mauritius. If you want a part two, let me know in the comments below and leave a like. Thanks for watching. Bye. We've come to that part of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. In the meantime, enjoy these sneak peeks into next week's video. I would really appreciate it if you guys left a like on this video, commented your favorite part about Mauritius, and most importantly, follow me on TikTok and Instagram because I need the follows. All right. Bye. See you later.